This is the plaintiff, Annette Corday. She says she was taking a walk in her neighborhood, and the defendant's unleashed dog bolted towards her and bit her in the leg. The dog's shots were not up to date. She had to get a painful tetanus shot. She was on medication for 10 days, and the uncaring defendant refuses to pay her medical bills. She's suing for the state max of $5,000 for all she's been through. This is the defendant, Millie Rodriguez. She says she admits her little Yorkie Rufus got out, but all he did was bark at the plaintiff. The woman claims Rufus bit her, but she refused to show her the bite mark, then started demanding all this money. Bottom line, there's no proof there was any bite. The plaintiff's trying to make money off of her, and she's not going to allow that to happen. She's accused of failing to control her dog. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant's dog bit her in the leg and now wants some justice in the form of medical bills. But the defendant says her dog only barked at the plaintiff. She never saw a bite mark and says she's making the whole thing up. It's the case of Lego Doggy. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Corte, you are suing Ms. Rodriguez for $5,000. You say you are out in damages because her dog bit you. Tell me what happened. Um, I was just decided to go for a walk January 4th, and I was just recovering from um, knee surgery quite lengthy, and I haven't been able to really walk that well. And I decided to go for a walk with my headphones relaxing, and a dog came charging out from this yard, a lady was sitting at a picnic table and the dog came charging at me barking and I had my headphones on and I said, you know, this dog's going to bite me. And sure enough, he ran in front of me. I was on the other side of the street and he came around the front of me and came around and bit the back calf of my leg. Okay. What kind of dog was it? Um, it was white and gray. It was not a Yorkie. It was bigger than a Yorkie. Okay. Um, and you said there was somebody sitting at a picnic table. Did you say anything to that person? Yes, after it bit me, I was in shock, and I went running up to the house where I seen the dog run out on the other side of the street. And I said, is this your dog? Is this your dog? I said, he just bit me. I was in a panic because of everything I've been through. She, she really didn't understand what I was saying. She ran in the house and got, I guess, Mrs. Rodriguez, and then she came out. And, um, and she what said, did, what happened? Yeah, she asked what happened, and then you tell her, and what does Ms. Rodriguez say? I asked her, uh, first of all, I asked her, does this dog have its shots? Because I was very nervous. And she said, yes, this dog has its shots. And um, after I called Animal Patrol when I walked home, he did not have his shots. And he actually told me in 10 days, um, if you don't die, you don't have rabies. And they were going to quarantine the dog. So they did quarantine the dog. Did that happen? Did your dog days. get quarantined, Ms. Rodriguez? Yes, at home. Uh, did your do was your dog up to date on its shots? No. All right, who was that in relation to you that was sitting in the um, picnic table? She was uh, my son's nurse. Okay. Just a worker. All right, and does she speak English or no? No. So you weren't out there when this happened, right? Correct. I was walking downstairs. I didn't hear anything. I was just coming downstairs just to come downstairs. As I'm coming downstairs, she's coming in the door, meaning the nurse, and saying this lady said that she, the dog bit her, but the dog didn't bit her. So I walked outside, and um, she was there really close to the door, um, and she said, your dog bit you. And then I said, can I see, you know, what can I do? She says, I'm going home. She asked if he had his shots. I did tell her yes, because I assumed he did have his shots. Um, what did she, she say when you asked her to see the wound? She refused. She was kind of pretty riled up, but everything she was saying was really not in reference so much to the bite. It was more so um, just calling calling us stupid. She called the other girl stupid. And she said, you live in the United States, how you don't know English. Just, it was mainly that kind of stuff. Did you hear I that was, yourself? I, at that point, I heard that. What was it I she said? She was just 
going on about not speaking English and not understanding and thinking that we didn't know that the dog was supposed to be on a leash. Because you, know, you do I know, know that all the, of that. Yeah, you know the dog is not supposed to be loose outside. I, I know that. Right. And he never and he never is, but the nurse came out to throw the garbage out and she left that side door open. And he must have got out that way. Yeah. She didn't know he was out until Miss Corte, were you calling them morning. stupid because they didn't speak your language and they should because they're in America? Yeah, um, I did not say that. What did you say? I said, here's my camera, here's my phone, I'll hand it to you, but I don't, I'm not jumping out of, because at this point I had walked back home and I came back because I came back with my husband. I, I'm only around the corner and my husband drove me back to get this straight, the address and whatever we were going to do. And I said to my husband, I was bit by a dog. And so when we went back there, I had the picture of my leg on the phone. I could not get out of this big truck and slide down the truck and show her my leg. I was sitting, actually sitting in a, a truck. And I handed her uh, nurse or whoever the woman was my phone, and she handed it to her because I had my mask on because I am um, well, immune Did the phone have a picture of your point. injury? Yes, it did. Okay, so that's what you're handing to the nurse, who then you say handed it to her. Out of curiosity, yes, and when they you're took a picture the, of the picture. Picture of the picture. Did you take a picture of the picture, Ms. Rodriguez? Yes, I did. But okay. I don't so understand then you know that there's, jumped. but you know that there's an injury because I, I have pictures of the injury. I don't know that there's an injury. You don't see when we were. Did you take we a were, picture of that? Let me see the picture of the picture that you took that somehow didn't show you a bite mark because there's a puncture there and it's really she sent me that picture just over the cell phone okay i never ever got the picture other than the one on the cell phone okay well but you know and then and, that okay one but that she the sent implication me. is that there was no injury and she's making everything up and the nurse says the dog did not bite her and it's up but we're looking at a bite right and i also know she went to the hospital and she got a tetanus shot which is very very painful and people don't do that for sport no but that's not what i'm saying uh, so what, what are you saying, saying? Is, why did she not show us the bite when she was standing there when I don't know. this first happened? Why was she so adamant for us not to see the bite? Even I don't know. She when drove she's back saying, and shows you a picture and right? right what difference right, is it? Make? There, she that's not a defense. Me. Yeah, but that's not a defense. OK, either it happened or it didn't. And I'm looking at the evidence that it happened. I mean, you can see the bruising afterwards. This is when it's healing. So. Let's go over what you say your damages are. You're asking for $5,000 for that little puncture. So let's talk about your damages. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff says after the bite, she was worried she might get rabies because she found out the defendant's dog's rabies shots were not up to date. But the defendant admits, well, her little dog Rufus got out. But all he did was bark at the lady and she's not going to be ripped off by the likes of her. Let's see what the judge thinks. My damages are the uh, medical bill, yes, the tetanus shot, the office visit, and pain and suffering. All right. So uh, you're asking for four thousand two hundred and fifty-six dollars and fifty-three cents in pain and suffering. So I'm going to need to hear four thousand two hundred and fifty-six dollars and fifty-three cents worth of pain and suffering. I, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what this is worth. I just want it resolved and whatever okay. you see appropriate. I'd be happy with that. All right. I am going to, uh, I, I've looked through the medical bills. I come up with a figure slightly different than yours. I come up with $612.22. I find that you are entitled to $500 in pain and suffering for a sum total judgment in the amount of $1,112.22. Ms. Rodriguez, your animal, I don't care how big or small your animal is, is not allowed to roam. OK, so you need to make sure that you don't play fast and loose with the leash rule. You understand? No, he's never out. And the okay. reason why he was not he, the reason why he wasn't up to date on his shot. You know, I have kids. One just uh, passed, two passed away. So it's just I'm that, very sorry. I have been like very consumed with that situation since 2018. I am very sorry to hear that. And I hope that things go better for you and your family. OK, good luck, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. 
So the plaintiff does recover money for her injuries, but not the $5,000 she was seeking. She gets $1,112. There's a big difference there. Ms. Rodriguez, that's what it's going to cost you because your dog got out and, uh, and bit the plaintiff. $1,112. What do you think about the judge's verdict? Uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, you know, that's what she feels, and that's, I respect her um, decision. All right. Good enough. Thank okay. you. All right. Ms. Corte, uh, you... You were suing for $5,000. That's a state maximum. The judge did not award you that. What do you feel about what she did award you, the $1,100? I feel that we're both very lucky, Mrs. Rodriguez and myself, that this didn't go beyond what happened. Okay. Very good. All right. So you're satisfied with the, the judgment that you've received from the judge? Most definitely. Thank you. You're very welcome, then. All right. As you said, you left it up to the judge to decide, and she did. Doug, real quick, in most states, when a dog bites a human, the dog owner is automatically responsible unless the person who got bitten provoked the dog. What's the legal theory behind adverse possession? If I can prove I own a piece of land, what difference does its use make in ownership? Ah, adverse possession. That's the, <laughs> the old common, adverse right. possession. <laughs> the common law concept that turns a squatter into a landowner or a trespasser into the owner of the land. But here, there, there are certain requirements. All the states have them. They have this common law rule. It's usually between seven and 20 years. I know in Florida, it's seven, I believe. In New York State, it's 10. It varies around, around the country. But really, uh, just between you and me, it's morally indefensible. I think so, and too. And re reprehensible to, I don't, to do I don't, this. I, I don't really quite even get how it uh, came to be. We were trying to settle the frontier. And people were marching across this country, and there was all this open land, and the law was kind of favoring active okay, use. Okay, so I could see it active then. Active use of the property. Right, right. So I could see it then. Right. But how about now? Where we I, have? I, I agree. Now, I mean, the world's changed, and we recognize that passive use and conservation are really good things. Yeah. And we set aside land, and we want it conserved, and we don't want it exploited or, or used in certain ways. So. I think it's kind of uh, overworn. Outdated. Outworn, it's welcome. Yeah. And it's really time to do away with it. You know, why don't, why don't we have the legislatures just like pass laws and say no more of this stuff? It's nonsense. Good idea.